It's fairly straightforward to make legs swing backwards and forwards like this, but this, this takes a bit more thinking about. Let me show you first uh, how I make the feet swing. This is uh, one that I made in 2008 actually, a quiet contemplation of a sandwich. So you can see the feet swing backwards and forwards. Driven by a, an oval cog there, an oval cam, sorry. It's got the cog attached to it, so the old pin style there. Uh, and a uh, cam follower. So that's going up and down. That's then going through to a linkage. Which is going backwards and forwards, which is then going to a, a single second, final linkage, which is a T-shape. So just one motion backwards and forwards, and that's converted to the two legs, which then swing backwards and forwards. And that's fine, except you can't really, well, you can't actually make them both swing together using this technique. And this is where we need a different technique. And this is uh, an example of it, which is uh, my beautiful hair. This one, as you can see, the, wing, the feet swing. And then eventually they... Uh, Come out together and that's the tricky bit and the way we do that is by uh, having a second cam so the uh, the first cam goes backwards and forwards backwards and forwards this one is a three point cam as you can probably see in there legs going backwards and forwards but then eventually again through the linkages eventually a second cam comes down and they're coordinated whereas the other two were uh, opposite each other these two cams are coordinated and then push it down and then you've got the uh, the other cam is cleared and then we're back again to the cycle i like using this mechanism here it is in my beautiful hair where it's on a five segment uh, geneva wheel and switches the hairbrush off for two parts of the cycle out of five and uh, in quiet contemplation of a sandwich, a slightly more different setup here, the uh, left hand occasionally scratches the man's nose. And I achieve this by a small Geneva wheel separate from the rest of the mechanism, uh, which, which pushes up the uh, cam follower. There's no fixed fulcrum for the cam follower, as you can see there. And finally, uh, an animatronic um, private conversation here I use two axles one to turn backwards and forwards and the second one to turn the heads together and it's the same mechanism again for that one I think just finally you can see those uh, two setups left and right working there you can just see them in a moment they'll both go down together by being pushed by the cam at the back Thanks for watching.